Welcome, foolish mortals. What's up guys, it's Megan and today I have some really exciting pin mail. This is way overdue, like, like really overdue, like by a month probably. I'm gonna show you guys some really special pins. I can't wait to show you and let's just hop. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is I got a very special package from one of my friends. Twinkle Bell Taryn and I will link her channel down below in the description. Taryn is such a wonderful friend. She makes these amazing Disney videos and she said, she sent me this package and she said, Dear Meg, I hope you can read my horrible handwriting. LOL. I have been keeping this for a bit now and decided I want to gift to you. I wanted to gift it to you. You are so sweet and such a real great pleasure to get to know. Thanks for being a great friend. Can't wait to meet you. And you could totally babysit my kids. <laughs> so Taryn is just like, it's like on Alice in Wonderland paper too. It's just, she's the sweetest. And when I opened this, cause I opened it off camera, I legitimately started to cry. <laughs> like sometimes I just can't fathom like how generous this community is. And I feel so lucky and blessed to have made so many amazing friends and like just their generosity blows my mind. So Taryn, thank you so much. And she also gave me this really cute card. Oh, like you have to know that Gus Gus is my favorite mouse out of, like he's one of my favorite animals, my Disney animals, and he's just the cutest. So thank you so much. And then uh, here's the real baby in here. She sent me this amazing pin. I just was floored when I saw it. So the story is, is that while well, I'm unpacking it, I had messaged Taryn a while ago asking her if she would be interested in trading for this. And I just, at the time, I didn't feel like I had any traders that were worthy of trading for this because it is a special pin. And, you know, I had been collecting traders and one day I was hoping to trade with her, but she sent it to me and like I was crying when I opened it, but it is this Baymax pin. It is a Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin. It is an LE of 1500. It's just, he's the cutest. Baymax is the cutest. Like. An Ellie of 1500 from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin. Thank you so much, Taryn. I, I feel like I could talk about this for an entire video, but I just wanna say thank you so much. She's amazing. If you haven't checked out her channel, please subscribe. <laughs> My next really fun pin mail is something that I have wanted for a long time. And a lot of you probably know, I talk about it very frequently, uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. and. I have now collected the pins that I wanted from every year, but I don't know, 2015 was a really special year for me when I was going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. There was one pin in particular that I really wanted, actually two, that I didn't get, and anytime I'd look on eBay, it would just be really expensive, so I never ended up getting them. But then, I was able to snag this. I have always wanted one of these like packs here. Like, first of all, this is a candy. It's a candy. And it comes with some amazing pins. I got this for less than half the price of what, so this retailed for $109 at the park. It's like, <laughs> you can see all the pins back here and you can see the price. I was able to get it for less than half of what this person bought it for at the park. So I felt that that was a really good deal to get one, two, three, four, five pins for less than $50. And they're all special edition pins. This is a completer pin down here, this Jack and Sally one. But let's start off with the pins that I really wanted to get first. So I've taken them out of the box right now. This first pin I really wanted to get was the Evil Queen one. This pin is so gorgeous. I just, first of all, I'm like totally and completely obsessed with the Evil Queen. She's one of my favorite villains. And 
Sorry about the glare, guys. It's I'm trying to get all this natural light. I, I love the Evil Queen. She reminds me of my mom, jokingly. I talk about this all the time. But I think this is such a gorgeous pin. I'm I, That was one of the ones that I really wanted. I'll go to this one with Daisy. She is, like, this has a little ribbon on it. Like, I can't, like... I can't even. A lot of these are pin on pin designs, so you could see there's a pin on pin here. This is also a really cool material here. I'm like showing you guys all my bruises and cuts. Ugh. This is a pin with Daisy on it. Obviously, these all say Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2015. That's a little bit better. She's really cute there. That wasn't the one that I wanted as much. This is also another one that I wanted. A lot of you guys know I'm a really huge fan of the Haunted Mansion and the Hitchhiking Ghosts are some of my favorite characters from all of Disney. And this is also a pretty expensive pin to find. Obviously, <laughs> I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm actually wearing a Nightmare Before Christmas sweatshirt right now. You see that it opens up like that. You see Sally there and Jack there with zero. And then in the middle, you have Lock, Shock, and Barrel. This is a completer pin. They're always up to no good, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. But this Nightmare Before Christmas pin is an LE of 1400, and the rest of the pins in this set are an LE of 5500. And this set, this set here, is an LE of 1200, as you can see. So it's pretty limited edition. This next one I think is really cool. You have this really awesome element there. It's goofy. He's so awesome. Uh, now Vanellope has taken over his spot in the parade. But guys, as you can see, I am totally and completely obsessed with these pins, especially the Jack and Sally one. I love having the completer. You cannot get that pin without having this set, unless obviously you trade for it or you buy it off of someone else. But. I just, I'm so excited to show you guys these pins. And 